Hi there. So I went to check my weather in the area that I live in because I'm hoping that it rains. And you can see the clouds sort of disappearing here. But look at this. Each one of these circles is a radar station and it's radar being emitted from that station. And the center are these little black dots. But look at how far this one's spreading out from Indiana. That's a lot of energy going from one little spot. And you can see all these other weird lines here. It looks almost like the clouds are just dissolving in the air too, doesn't it? But um, let's look Let's look at um, a little bit more, let's see, oh. let's see what it looks like from here. Now down south they're having like really a lot of storms and very dangerous conditions for people. I hope everybody's safe. But see this one particular radar, how the beams are shooting out all the way over to Virginia, up into northern Wisconsin. And then every once in a while there's a random beam. I had to stop for a minute, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Look at this one, this beam right there. That looks really weird. Now I can't tell you what all of this means. I'm not a meteorologist. But I can tell you that that's energy being put into the atmosphere. And nobody can tell me that that's not going to affect the atmosphere. There's other beams shooting out over here. Let's just look at the whole United States and see what it looks like. This makes it a lot harder because I can't zoom in. But you can see these storms down south. Also supposed to be really hot down here. There's some strange looking things going on down there. I can get in a little closer to that those spots. Uh, let's see, maybe. Oh, it's really close. But you can see see how the radar and then like this beam that's the radar going across the atmosphere okay let's no that's not what I want a little bit wider view of the radar See, now you can see it a little bit clearer. And these storms here. That's in Texas. Um, when you look at radar, sometimes there's flocks of birds and bugs. But there's a lot of stuff, if you look at it after a while, you can see that it's just like one flash, one or two flashes. And that that isn't a bird. Like... Down in here, if you look, you can see these little lines that come and go really quick. And I don't know if I can have it stop for you. I can try. Oops. Because I'm, I'm just trying to stop it and make it go so we can catch it. See like that line right there? That will go in just a second when, as soon as I push the button. That isn't birds. See? There. See those lines there? How radar works is they send stuff out and then it bounces back to the center. Okay, let's look and give some information that way. 
Let's go back. Um, look at these claws. I always see that like it looks like I can't point my mouse here because it will block it, but it looks like faces and stuff. It looks funny to me. Okay, am I stopped? Okay, let's take a look at what the actual supposed forecast is. Um, let me wait. Let's let's do the clouds first. We'll look at infrared satellite. So the radar that was shooting out so far is right in this area right here, and here you can see how the clouds are moving. Let's. I'm gonna get on the whole um, United States. <clears throat> so where the radar was shooting out is right where my pointer is. And then there was that weird stuff in Texas. Here's these storms. Up here is where I live and it's getting very dry. We actually need rain. And this is also turning into a long video. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, let's see what it says on National Weather Service. I'll stop this a minute and go over there. National Weather Service in my area. Slight chance for thunderstorms, but um, hazardous weather talks about that there. Slight chance for thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. All I can say is that would be fabulous. I can't move my screen over to get a better picture on here of what's going to show up right here. But, oh, actually, this is showing up really good. This is National Weather Service, and um, these are just the alerts. And I want to show you, this is in Oregon. This is a uh, freeze warning and frost advisory. I don't know if that's normal for the end of June, but... And then this gray, that's uh, some kind of weather alert. Down here is really hot. The pink is hotter than the orange. Let's um, see what they say down here in Houston, Galveston. Excessive heat warning until 8 p.m. tonight. Heat index greater than 113. And then they talk about uh, things that you can do and signs of being too hot. Um, and there's some gray here too for... What is that there for? Oh, severe storms. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to stop this for a minute. Okay, this is really long, and I mostly wanted you to see that radar. But I'm going to look. Oh, I can't get. There's a lot of storms down here. This is. These are. The yellow is. I don't know. There's yellow, like, with red in the center, and I can't get closer to that. The red up here is tornado. Okay. It's funny that on active alerts they don't have um oh, This gives me a list. I'm sorry, that's a really annoying I was, we saw those storms down in this area, and these alerts don't say really anything about the storms that's really visible, except there's this key. So the orange, like up in here. Okay. 
So I'm back on College of DuPage. This looks a lot more dramatic on the College of DuPage map as far as the danger potential in these storms. So people please be aware that, well, by the time this comes out, you probably, it'll probably already have passed. And once again, I'm up here and I do hope it rains. Okay, this is extremely long. Grateful for you in here at your service. Let's look at the radar again. Just look at that sucker. Think of that. That's hundreds of miles that the energy is being sent out from that radar facility. Hundreds and hundreds of miles. Okay, grateful for you and hear your service.